And tonight, another case of flesh-eating bacteria in our area. A Citrus County man is recovering from flesh-eating bacteria that attacked his buttocks. Mike O'Grady is seen here in the hospital as doctors and surgeons work to save his life. Eight on your side's Marco Villarreal reports now from Citrus County. Uh, apparently I had, and they tell me I have a massive flesh-eating bacteria working down there on my backside. Michael Grady's medical nightmare started with a happy trip to St. George Island up in Apalachicola with his wife. Beautiful time. We had a great time. We went in the water. Water's warm, which the Gulf is. Not long after, he noticed what resembled a boil on his backside. It got worse as every day went by. And, and I, but I was, but being a, being a, a man, I, it, we, I decided like, it'll be okay. You know, I don't want to have anybody go looking, you know. And I'm gonna be, I'll be fine. Three weeks later, he wasn't fine, telling his wife late one night to take him to the ER. It's very, very intense. I mean, my, my buttocks were swollen up. I, 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 I equated it to look, I looked like J-Lo when I went to the hospital. Six surgeries in six days as doctors worked to remove the flesh-eating bacteria from his body. I was in bad shape. Had I waited maybe another eight hours to stay, stay, let's stay home until the morning and see how it feels, I might not have made it. O'Grady oh, hopes people will learn from his experience to keep an eye on wounds after swimming in warm water and get help as soon as possible. I could have died from this, yes. That's what they said. I could have died from this. O'Grady oh, tells me he met with his doctors today and they say he's ahead of schedule in his recovery, but he's still a long way from being back to normal. Reporting in Citrus County, Marco Villarreal, 8 on your side.